Hello. Today is Monday the 10th of April 2023. It's Easter Monday. I thought I'd take the opportunity just to, instead of doing a mental health video or readings from my book or things like that, just to introduce myself really, because I'm always saying, hello, it's Sandra Dean, counsellor and psychotherapist, which is part of me. It's a part of me. It's the job that I do. But there's so much more. And I wanted to introduce that to you so that you know that what I bring to the table regards to mental health comes from a professional but also very personal point of view. Now, I never come at things that, well, I've got over it, so everyone else should. Nothing like that. But um, let me just tell you a little bit about my background. So I grew up with quite a dysfunctional family. We're a family of six. Um, mental health in the family. My mum had uh, catatonic schizophrenia. Um, and we had to work around that, of course. <clears throat> We all came out different, myself and my three brothers. Um, I felt like an only child most of the time because I was the only girl and I was so much younger than the rest of them. Um, I got a diagnosis of depression by the time I was 15, although I think that had uh, come into play many, many years before that. Um, I think stress was coming out when I was only just a few years old um, in early years in school. So time went on and eventually I got a diagnosis of borderline personality disorder. I've had diagnosis of generalised anxiety disorder um, and obsessive compulsive disorder as well. So I had a lot to deal with. How I dealt with those things was not to look at them as diagnosis, but to look at them as individual symptoms. So I looked at it as, well, what what is not wrong with me, but what is it about me that I don't like? Because at times I absolutely hated myself. Um, I had suicidal ideation quite a few times. And... Um, Life was quite unbearable at times. Other times, very excitable, very, very fulfilling. I did a lot of travel, a lot of running away from myself, traveling all around the world on my own, various things, lots of risk taking um, and all sorts. I had lots of different relationships and lots of different jobs. So, and I was always reinventing myself as well, cutting my hair off, growing it changing my clothes. I still do that to, to, to a degree at, at this time, but more so that I fancy it rather than ne needing to reinvent myself. So I eventually, when was it? Good 10 years ago, wrote my memoir, My Alien Self, My Journey Back to Me which was at the very beginning of my recovery, really. I was quite recovered when I wrote that book, but have been still recovering since, and um, now in a much better place. All the while, in the last 10 years, having trained as a counsellor, doing the four years training that's required, all the placements that were required in a homeless shelter, and then in private practice for the last six years. So I'm coming from a place of having to work really, really hard on myself as an absolute constant all of my life. It can be very, very tiring, very exhausting in fact. And I have sort of succumbed to alcohol abuse, drug abuse, smoking, all sorts of risky behaviours on the way through, but still fighting and still coming out the other side. As a recent therapist of my own said to me, 
you've clearly sort of found your way through through the years now I did that through having lots of therapies medications but an awful lot of willpower and self-help sometimes completely giving in to very impulsive behaviors which is always been one of my sort of uh, weaknesses as such if you can call it that um, but now I'm back in control and that is why I wanted to become a counsellor and psychotherapist so that I could help others and that was why I wrote my original book My Alien Self, My Journey Back to Me and the sequel which was called 39 which was when I was 39 years old I'm now 49 and I'll be 50 this year so I think time also mellows people out I have HRT for my hormonal situation probably in perimenopause at the moment and um, I just thought I'd drop in and let you know that when I do my work and when I do my videos that I'm coming from a professional and a personal point of view and that is what creates true empathy I feel you will find that very many not all but very many therapists will have been through the meal themselves in one way or another and very often we are taught not to share um, those sorts of things but for me I like to be congruent and um, and honest about these things and therefore I don't hide behind my books as I wrote them under the, the pen name of Amanda Green originally to protect everybody that were in them and to protect myself but um, I don't do that anymore I'm perfectly happy to be just me to show who I am but also that I'm not weak and that I am a fighter and that in my videos and in my work I like to help to show that other people can be fighters too so that's a little bit about me I have a lot of fun um, doing all sorts of things I've got a couple of cats um, I've got a long-term partnership um, and um, yeah things are things are as, as good as they can be so that's all for now and I'll see you all soon oh actually the other reason why I did this video is because I always talk a lot about who am I and who am I is really important it's important we know who we are where we've come from and who we are now and that was the other reason why I wanted to do this video to show you that I do actually know myself quite well and um, that's why I also encourage you to do the same. <laughs> so I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.